welcome to the Country Living Homestead. If you're new to growing your own food, you may be wondering what does the larder look like in late winter? Well, stay tuned to find out. It's that time of year again time of year to take stock of what's left in the larder and how well it has served us this winter. This is when I make my growing decisions for this year based on what we have eaten and what I'd like to preserve for the coming year. This is what I like to call the fruit shelf. We still have about two and a half rows of peaches left. We only have three jars of pears. They were really popular this year. We have almost two rows of applesauce. We have about four jars left of apple butter, three jars of pear butter, about a row of marmalade and one long jar of our favorite jam, blueberry lemon. So that's not too bad as far as fruit goes this year. And now I will show you the vegetables. So right here we have two rows of coleslaw left. We have two rows of pickled peppers. We have three rows of pickles with one jar of dilly beans. We didn't really like dilly beans, so I won't be canning those again this year. And we have three jars of beets. Some of them are spiced pickled beets. And we have some jars of potatoes over here on the end. On the next shelf, we have some tomato juice, which I'm trying to use that up. So I'm putting a note to myself in here to remember to put this in any soup or stews that we have so we can get that used up. This is a row of salsa. This is salsa verde, which we love to put on top of a whole chicken in our Instant Pot. It's amazing. We have three rows of corn left and four rows of green beans. So on our third row down, we have some meat. This right here is canned chicken. We only have three jars of that left. If you've never canned chicken, I really recommend that you try it. It is so moist and delicious when you raw pack it. I know it doesn't look the best, but it tastes amazing. Right here we have some chicken and broth. We have two rows of salmon, and that's salmon that my husband catches himself. Over here, we have four rows of turkey. We got some really amazing deals on whole turkeys after Thanksgiving last year. So we canned some turkey soup and also just some turkey on its own in broth. And down here at the end, we have, I don't know if you can see them all, but we have four rows of carrots and we have four jars of eggplant puttanesca. We didn't have the best tomato crop last year, so those four jars of eggplant puttanesca are the only tomato products that we have left other than some tomato juice and a little bit of salsa. We do also have some ferments left over. We like to ferment pickles, or should I say cucumbers, but now they're pickles. And we do have one more of these jars left. That's a half gallon jar, so we have a gallon jar left of fermented pickles. 
We do have one more jar of the salsa, so two jars of fermented salsa. And we have one jar of fermented jalapenos. I don't think I'm going to be making those again this year. We just haven't found a lot of uses for them. If you make them and you know of a good way to use them up, please let me know in the comments. I don't actually store my ferments in the pantry. We store these in the refrigerator. I just brought them in here for the purpose of making this video. And they have held really well. We made these, I'm gonna say in early September, and they still taste and smell amazing. Fermented foods like these pickles are a really important part of our winter food storage because they're full of probiotics. And in the winter when you tend to be eating really heavy foods, they really help a lot with digestion. These are the winter squash that we grew in our garden. These are actually butternut squash and they're still hard. We do have a few of them that have seen better days and we'll probably be offering these to our chickens and ducks soon. But for the most part, we're six months in, almost six months in. We harvested these in September. They have held very, very well. So we'll definitely be growing those again this year. We have about 25 to 30 winter squash left. Over here we have what is remaining of our potato harvest. We have actually gone through I'm gonna say probably three times this many potatoes this year. My husband is a really big potato eater. And as you can see at this point, a lot of our potatoes are starting to sprout. And once that happens, they get pretty wrinkly, they get soft. So there are still a few potatoes in here that we can salvage. Some of them have not sprouted yet and they're still nice and hard. So I will be going through this box today and picking out the ones that are still edible. And we actually grow three types of potato. This is a blue potato. We grow a red and we grow a white potato. And surprisingly, the blue and the red potatoes have actually seemed to hold longer this year than the white potatoes. Sometimes with potatoes, you will notice some little sprouts growing on them. But if that potato is still hard, you can just take those sprouts right off like that and you can still use that potato. As long as it's not gushy, you're good to go. After sorting through all those potatoes, we have about, I would say, six pounds of potatoes in here for eating to make it through the rest of the winter. And over here, we're probably going to have about, I'd say, 20 pounds of potatoes for seed in the garden this year. We like to keep a towel over our potatoes, even though we do have a light blocking curtain, which I have open right now so I can make this video. But we also like to lay a towel on the potatoes just to make sure that no light is getting into the potatoes so they don't turn green. Thanks for stopping by the homestead today, everyone, and we hope that you have a great day. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know if you'd like to see more pantry videos like this one.